now definitely in a different time zone. I mean, this is the 1948 era. World War II is just over. Car production has just started back up again. And the mark of luxury was a Lincoln Continental. It has a V12 engine, not very powerful, but very, very smooth. It's interesting being in this car because it gives you an idea of what the aesthetic was in that era. Look at all the chrome on the dashboard. Not an automatic transmission, a three-speed right here on the column. This car is not precise in its steering and it tends to float a little bit, but here's the issue. I've never driven one of these that was fresh and new with all good suspension, all new rubber bushings, new shocks. So I can't honestly tell you if this car is more floaty than most or if they were all floaty. There's a, a common conception that luxury cars from this era, from 1948 and so forth, just didn't handle very well. I don't know if that's true. What I can say is this is not a car that you would want to take on a twisty mountain road. This is a car you want to go on a nice two-lane highway, top down, feel that V12 smoothness. The exhaust note is pleasing, a little bit unusual because it's a V12. Not loud and raucous, it's not a sports car. You don't feel much of the road through the steering wheel. Uh, part of it's their very tall tires, so the side walls on the rubber of the tires absorb a lot of the imperfections. Part of it's just the nature of the car. I feel like I should talk leisurely when I'm in this car because you drive this car leisurely. Gauges are easy to read. Everything you want to know right in front of you. I'd like to drive this car in a parade, actually. Have some women in gowns sitting next to me doing the, the princess wave.